and then you leave and get the fuck out. So now we're on to the last stage, where we have to fight all eight Robot Masters again. Now, um, if you know the Robot Master order, I'd say, like, if you know which one's which, I almost never know which one's actually which. Like, I always, like, okay, like, I just go into any one. But the best, I'd say, like, the best way is to go from the hardest to easiest so you don't have to worry about losing life. Also, by the way, unlike the last game, when you kill, let's just say, like, I died on one Robot Master, but I killed, like, two Robot Masters before, I wouldn't have to fight those two Robot Masters again, so... So, fortunately, this game gives you a lot more saves than the last game, where you have to fight all four Robot Masters all in one time, without getting, without dying. Also, when you kill each Robot Master, you do get, a uh, life back, so it's pretty good. But yeah, I'd say do, like, Heat Man first, and then maybe do, like, Crash Man last, because he's just so easy. And wow, okay, what do you know, we're already doing Heat Man first, uh, so it's pretty cool. So, yeah. Although, by this point, you also have the E-Tanks, which should help you out. I just, like, instantaneously got that, so it's cool. Eh, yeah, fuck it, I don't know, just change. So, here's Airman. Hopefully, he'll actually, we'll actually be able to see what he does now, because last time, we didn't really get to see anything. Yeah. And you see, you can't shoot for that, which is just, oh my god. So, he got killed again. Now, we have, like, almost no Leaf Shield, but that's pretty much... I mean, because some of these weapons we won't be really using anymore, so it doesn't really matter. Now we're fighting Woodman. So now, here's the thing. You can all, so now you can use the Atomic Fire. However, I'd actually recommend using the Metal Blade. Because the thing about Woodman is, is the thing is you actually need the Atomic Fire later, so. But the Atomic Fire works better, but the Metal Blade also works pretty well, too, so, yeah. Because I guess Woodman is going to get chopped up. So this battle is also again underwater again, but for some odd reason they removed the spikes and also, what do you know, convenient. So now, up your ass! Okay, wow, well, we're just, yeah. Just got those metal blades shoved right up his ass. And that, I could not imagine being fun. Okay, shit, we need the uh, quick time stopper. Oh shit, he's a, Jesus. And then we need the crash bomb, however, we almost have like no crash bombs left, so. However, well. So he's dead now, and then, oh wow, I didn't even get the, th oh my god, this is cool. Uh, so here's the thing, now, Flash Man, you're gonna just have to kill, oh, well, this is Crash Man, so, I'm gonna kill him first, I'm gonna see if I can do this now. Okay, I didn't even hit him at all, or... Okay, I'd like to hit this guy, Jesus. It's actually a specific pattern, like, how you, like, fight him, but yeah. Now, like, now I think this is Flash Man. This may be Metal Man, though. Okay, this is Metal Man. And now this doesn't play, take place on a conveyor belt, which is kind of sad. But still, yeah. He's still running in place for some bizarre reason, but, uh... Actually, Metal Man's not that hard at all, either. It's just, like, you know. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the Robot Masters in this game are really easy. But here's the thing. Now that you don't have any Crash Bombs, you just have to use your Mega Buster on... Flashman, however, he still takes quite a decent amount of damage. Actually, we may end up killing him right before he even does his attack. And what do you know, we did it, so... Yeah, okay, wow, that's weird, just, okay. So now we have to fight Dr. Wily, and that's not the Atomic Fire. Where is the Atomic Fire? We need that. Uh, am I, like, just an idiot? Here it is, yeah. So, we haven't even used the Atomic Fire, but basically what it does, is basically shoots out a tiny fireball. However, you can also charge it. Basically, like, instantly, like, just blow his head off. So now, I think you have to use a quick boomerang here. I'm pretty sure you have to. Yeah, yeah, you use a quick boomerang here. And then, you should have enough E-Tanks. I don't think you should really have to, like, worry about too much. Yeah. So that's Dr. Wily. However, that's not it, actually. So now you fall underground, as you just saw there. Now you're underground. Now this stage is actually, I don't know why, but this stage is just disturbing in the way it's like, there's just no music at all. It's like, you fall down, and you're just here. It's like, 
Now this is also weird too. These drops of like red stuff just fall down. And you don't want to touch this stuff at all. This stuff like will wreck your health. So you don't want to touch this. It should now this is all this boss battle is also kind of tough. It's like really the only other boss battle in the game that's actually tough. Because the dragon was kind of tough because you have to be on the platforms. But this boss battle is actually okay, yeah, you see like I lost like almost like a third of my health right there. So that's not yeah, you don't want to touch this stuff at all. But so like I don't know why, but this like this segment disturbs me. Just for the fact that like there's no music, you just have this bizarre sound. It's just like it's just like so bizarre. It's like now also here's the thing. Now you think the metal blade, which is like just you know, shreds ass. You think that would be the final weapon that used to fight the final boss. But no, you have to use the shittiest weapon in the game, the bubble lead, to fight this boss. So you go in here, and this also freaked me out too when I first did this. But Dr. Wily becomes a fucking alien all of a sudden. And I was like, holy shit, what the hell? And this, like, this actually, like, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, now here's the thing. Doc, like, this boss battle isn't that tough, but he... You can take a lot of damage from this boss. Actually, I'm almost dead already. Okay, yeah, we need an E-Tank. So yeah, this is probably the only time you actually use the E-Tanks in this game, in all honesty. Again, I'm not saying this game's like easy as hell, but it's, it is kind of easy. It's just still really good, though. And then, that's not enough for him, though, so... And then he's dead. And then you see that Dr. Wily was actually just simulating a machine. However, Dr. Wily just realized how much of a fucking idiot he is. In his last attempt to kill you, he drops the thing on your head, but it doesn't do anything, so... He f jumps ten feet in the air, he's like, Oh, Mega Man! I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to do this! But yeah, you know. Mega Man's just like, you know, dick, you're just like, no, fuck you. But that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but of course there's also the credits. And these credits are also really nice. It shows Mega Man going through like the seasons. So here it's fall. He changed his red. So this is actually kind of cool. And then... Yeah, this is really nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mega Man 2. Now it's the winter, so now he's all, you know, yeah. But yeah, so that was Mega Man 2, and again, I think this game is probably the best game in the series, and then now it's pink because it's spring. I guess when it's spring, the grass turns pink too, I guess, for some bizarre reason. I don't know why. Now, I guess in summer, the grass turns gray, and it starts to rain, I guess. I guess that's what the summer's like. Or actually, no, Mega Man has five seasons for some bizarre reason, so. So Mega Man looks out, he's like... I think I want to go home in this old, like, ancient, like, 15, 1300s village. So Megan leaves his hat there, and he's off to home, I guess. Just has this nice, relaxing music, and... And that's the game. So, again, I'd say Mega Man, this game, even though it's really short, and it's really, it's not really that hard, it's still a really fun game. I really, I... Like, this is personally, again, like I said, one of my favorite games of, like, all time. And this is, I mean, easily my favorite game of the Mega Man series. Mega Man 3 is, a, Mega Man 3 is also a really good game. Plus, Mega Man 3 also has much more, like, this, this in the next game, the story is much more in-depth. Like, you actually get to meet, like, well, I shouldn't say anything about it, but, yeah, it's, you get to see the credits. These credits are also really funny, because there's one person in this credits that's just, like, wow, like, what the hell? But yeah, so that was Mega Man 2, and again, just, oh my god, I'm just gonna let these credits go, but yeah. Yeah, this game's just awesome. Just again, I, and then there's Anaf King, Tom Pong, 2M03CM Man. Like, who the fuck is that? So we already have, like, and then there's AK, and then there's Yuki Chan's Papa. So that's, like, five people so far that just have, like, ridiculous, like, I just... Like, whoever made these credits was just, like, ridiculous. Like, AK, okay. It'd be funny if his last initial was A, so it'd be, like, AKA. So, yeah. So, and then... And then, I don't know if this is a real person, but... Let's see, let's just wait. Because one of these guys is so ridiculous, like... 
Let me see. Yeah, they have Fish Man. Like, what the fuck? I can't, like... Fish Man. Like, I don't even know, whatever. You are welcome, Capcom. I... This game is awesome. So... Yeah. That was Mega Man 2, so... Again, just a fucking amazing game. Probably the best in the series, and then... And then I'd say Mega Man 3 is probably the second best. I will also play... I will be playing Mega Man 3 for 5, and then 9 and 10, although... I have never actually played 6 through 8, though, and I don't think I'll play 8, because that game's just bad. But, uh... Yeah, if you like this, yeah. Hopefully you guys like this, and then yeah, I'll still be doing more Mega Man videos. Because these games don't really take that long to actually be. Again, I don't, again, I know, like, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I mean, again, this game's just, it's just so perfect. It's just like, oh my god, so good. And that's Mega Man 2.